Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a collective for you guys. So we're going to see what the messages are coming in for the collective at this time. All right. what the messages are that are coming in for the collective at this time. What's the most important messages here, Spirit? What's the most important messages here for the collective? seven of wands here all right so this is a time this is this is something being blocked or something being rejected or having to stand your ground in a situation okay or something is a no okay or it could mean a backfire it can mean several things yeah five of cups is here with the seven of wands so this is standing up for yourself okay this is taking back your power this is this is not allowing yeah the okay we have the five of cups here okay So I feel like I feel like somebody here is standing up for themselves. They they don't they either don't want something anymore because the seven of wands is a no. So this is giving me an energy of you don't want something a certain way anymore. You're done with it. It's over. You're standing up with, for yourself and you're standing your your ground. Okay, you're not going back on this. This is what you decided. This is what you want to do, and this is what you're you're doing. Just period. Okay. And so, I feel like there, there with these two cards, okay, I feel like there's a real energy of somebody um, releasing a situation here. Someone standing their ground, no matter how bad they feel for the person, they may pity them, but they don't give a fuck. It's a no. You're standing your ground. It is a no. You are not doing it. It's a wrap. No. Okay. And, you know, it is what it is. Or maybe somebody's sad because you blocked them or you or whatever. This could be different for everybody, okay? But this release, whatever happens, it, it happened for a reason. I feel like somebody's still trying to fight for something that is over. Somebody has freed themselves. They have moved on. They have released this. Yeah, the five of swords. Wow. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So, yeah, in new beginnings. So, somebody's doing what's best for them. They're moving on. They're doing what's best for them. They're going towards a new life. They're finding their purpose. And they're having a forgiving, compassionate review of the past and the decisions that they may have made in the past. Somebody no longer wants to make those decisions, though. Somebody wants to go in a different direction. Somebody wants to do something else, and they're standing their ground on that. So if you broke up with somebody or if you left a situation behind, I do feel like it's a little bit hard for somebody to release this simply because people get codependent. But yeah, confirmation. But I feel like it's going. To, it's it's happening. It's already happened. It's concrete. It's what it is. It just cannot um, move further anymore. So somebody could be getting vindictive or hateful, malice and malicious because they're not getting the outcome that they want. Because somebody's choosing to go in a different direction. Because somebody's choosing to do what's best for them. Somebody is. I don't know. It's it's kind of giving hateful okay somebody's definitely somebody's definitely about to get hateful or something like that okay for sure so let's see but know that this happens for a reason something had to end somebody could no longer go with a, a person down a certain path or they couldn't be with them they, they were they're not growing with them they, they've learned all they can learn i'm getting world energy so we'll see if it comes out Okay, yeah, we have the Six of Ariel, the Six of Pentacles. It says material needs 
get fulfilled in magical ways and in unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So like I said, I feel like somebody is going to help somebody out a little bit because maybe they're in a financial pinch or maybe this was somebody that was codependent on another person. Could be a female that was, but I feel like if this, it could be vice versa, but if this is a female, this masculine is walking away, I feel like somebody's like, okay, you need a little help. I can help you a little bit. But I'm not about, I'm not going to be given to you like that. I'm not going to be with you or anything. Okay. That could be for some of you. For others, yeah, we have the Empress. Yeah. And the Page of Swords. So I am getting, um, so I am getting an energy here with the Empress right here. Okay. So somebody, yeah, somebody could be standing or someone's going to. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Page of Swords. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody, um, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So I'm getting you this Empress energy. You're going to be fine here. You're going to have to take your, yeah, whatever this loss is. Okay, are you having to stand your ground against whatever the fuck this is? You're going to be patronized. Your needs are going to be met here. Your needs will be met in magical ways as well and in, in, and in unexpected ways. Okay, so, that, so people could be being kind, patronizing you, paying for your services. Okay. And you, I'm getting you're going to be very grateful here, or this is someone else. But uh, yeah, if there was a loss, this is could this could be another scenario or whatever this is, and you had to stand your ground. I'm getting maybe this is with your money or whatever. I'm getting with the empress. That's getting that's living in a life of luxury. That's getting everything you want. Something is going to be made comfortable and convenient for you. What no matter what this loss was that you lost, see the silver lining in the situation. And, and, and what? why something happened the way it did. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, because you're going to get what you want here. Make a wish. Dreams come become reality. A joyful time of life. So let's see. what. Let's get these messages out and kind of see what this all means. All right. What is this Six of Pentacles? But I see blessings and favor and cover and just, what is this Six of Pentacles? What is the Six of Pentacles? We have the Eight of Wands, okay? Um, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So I feel like a lot of patronism coming in here. Okay, this is going to make you very happy here. Yeah, the Sun card, I said very happy. And the Six of Wands, all right? And, and sticking out is the um, Page of Cups. We got the Six of Cups. So with these cards here, I'm getting the Eight of Wands, something like exp exponential growth, first of all. There's a lot of deal of activity. This could be a lot of emails, but a lot of patronism, people paying for your services here. Okay. And we have the Six of Wands. Something is successful. It says, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotion. Okay, so this could be a promotion, a scholarship, something is a yes, something is going very fast, you're getting this news, this email, you're happy, or you pop, you pass the bar, is what I'm hearing, the bar exam, if, if it's, uh, um, if you are wanting to be a lawyer, I don't know where that's coming from, because I don't see the justice card for a lawyer or any of that, but I'm just feeling it, okay, and then you have the sun, wow, so that's Leo energy here. It says, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So I'm getting your positive, your, your, your happy, yeah, another six. We have six, six, six. I just noticed that. And we only have six cards out. So that's significant. The number six is the pregnant number. It's Venusian number. It's an imp it's um, Venus number. So somebody could be pregnant or this could mean six. You're very, very much protected or the mark of the beast. You're a fucking beast. The way you strategize, the way you open the heavens, the way you talk, the way you use your mind, the way you use um, your God-given talents to bring abundance and happiness and joy into your life. The Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, yeah, I'm getting you're going to have to block somebody. Somebody may be mad about that or whatever, but I'm getting, you're, 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 yeah, the Five of Swords, we saw somebody definitely mad or they may try to do something vindictive because you stood your ground, you moved on, or you blocked them, or 
and, and they're sad and they're regretful, but oh well. I'm getting your needs are going to be met. This person could even been blocking your money, blocking your success, blocking your happiness, your joy, just like an anchor. You're letting that go. You made a final decision and you stand it on it. So whoever this is, good job. Because immediately after that, you have the eight of wands, six of wands. Six of wands is accolades, success, recognition. That's a high following online, Instagram. Like a lot of followers and shit. A lot of likes, comments, and subscribes. People fucking with you coming in fast with the eight of wands. Something is growing. That could be uploads or whatever. You're going to be very happy with the results and you're making money. It says material needs will be fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving and receiving with a great heart so people really fuck with you here yeah the chariot and that's a, that's overcoming obstacles yeah the faith card you overcame obstacles you're moving forward yes six of swords you're taking a leap of faith in a new direction and because of that you're going to win baby keep going let's get these met wow these messages are just i'm just feeling good about these messages that are coming out for you okay for the collective all right so this is beautiful yeah, we have strength, okay? Leo energy. We have Leo here heavy. So somebody has a Leo placement here, sun, moon, or rising. Or it could be somebody with double Leo, okay? It says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So I'm getting like, yeah, you're really feeling good, man. You're really feeling yourself right now. You're like, man, I'm powerful. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, nine of cups. I mean, nine of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, there's that rainbow again with the Six of Pentacles and the Nine. I'm getting your money is blessed. You're very blessed. You're very covered. You're favored. I'm getting a very sanguine energy, a very comfortable energy. You just feel at peace. Somebody makes you feel at peace. You feel at peace. Yeah, confirmation. You're very happy. You're feeling, vi there's a lot of vitality here. Someone's very attractive. They're glowing. They're beautiful. You're strong. You're powerful. You're, you're, you're unbreakable here. And this is a beautiful, it could be a um, very, very heavy Leo with the sun, the strength, and the six of wands. That's Leo energy. You, somebody is feeling good. Like, it's just like, it's like, almost borderline ego because leo rules the ego so you know but i don't feel like i feel like it's humble though with the nine of pentacles yeah look your dreams are fulfilled hard work leads to great success a love for the beautiful things in life nine of pentacles energy that's pre-empress energy that's who you are before you become the empress that's single that's that's a self-made millionaire that's somebody who is self-made so i'm getting something about your name you are self-fucking made just period you're a motherfucking boss you self-made you put in work 10 toes down you put in motherfucking work and you're doing it and you continue to and you're and, and you and you're going to continue to nothing's going to stop you seven of wands let me see um what that was real quick yeah this nine of pentacles is set showing up again so i'm getting a lot of wealth and independence and um financial gain coming in here what's the seven of wands with the five of cups what happened here I saw the six of swords. Yeah, the full card. You're freeing yourself. So this could have been something that happened. Yeah, the chariot. This could be with a cancer. Someone is blocking a cancer, or they, or they, or you left a cancer, or this cancer is sad, or yeah, the nine of wands. Yep, the five of yeah, four of cups. So yeah, it's because you don't trust someone, you don't want someone. Somebody may be trying to do something kind for you, or give you something, or whatever. You're like, no. I'm good. I'm, I'm 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 over this, or I'm moving on. Yeah, because somebody is being called to 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 apologize or to be with someone else, or something like that. What's what's the seven of wands, chariot, and the um five of cups, chariot, seven of wands, chariot, and the five of cups. Yeah, the judgment. So this could be something that you're announcing. Yeah, the ace of cups. Yeah, the knight of cups. So you could be saying this, you could be saying like, look, I'm moving on or I'm done. What's the seven of wands though? Yeah, the sun, you're, you're really happy here. Yeah, the seven of wands again. So something is a backfire or something, yeah, the devil and the five of wands. So this is this, so you're standing your ground against adversity, against bullshit. Yeah, the sun card and the nine of pentacles and you're getting what you want. Or you're standing your ground. Yeah, this is like a lot of backfire. Yeah, with this Capricorn, that's that's very arguing, petty competition, bullshit going on. You're just like, man, I can't do it anymore. I'm done. Yeah, the tower, I feel like something is over. It could be a Scorpio. You're done. It's over. 
You're not about to argue, fight. You're standing your ground or maybe somebody or, or, or something is backfiring. The seven of wands is here twice. What is this bet with the devil tower? Yeah, the seven of swords. We got seven, seven, seven. So this is giving me a warning here. Yeah. So somebody trying to trick you or lie or steal from you or con you or discrim yeah, confirmation, discrimination or whatever. All this is going to backfire or, wh or whatever this is. Yeah, the nine of wands, a lot of heavy shit. I'm getting prejudice, discrimination that we saw the five of swords too. It could be, it could be whatever it is going in circles. I'm getting you're moving on with that or feeling stuck or try. You just don't trust this person. You don't trust this or whatever. And you're moving on to something new. The letter M could be significant. Let's get back to this deck. This is beautiful energy here. So I'm getting you had, I'm getting you had to leave this in the past. What's this? One more thing. What's this chariot um, judging? I just feel like you had to move on. What's this? Um, so I feel like somebody is trying to offer their cup or they're trying to come at somebody and somebody is like, no, yeah, the Ten of Swords is over. Somebody has been excommunicated or something has been cut off or or it's just over. That's like, that's like, I'm getting something about the ambulance being called because I see sirens, the ambulance or something like that. Yeah, somebody's being, yeah, somebody could be real sad about this or disappointed they're being blocked, shut out, rejected, or excommunicated. Yeah, the nine of swords. Yeah, because if somebody's feeling really rejected here and cut off, yeah, because I feel like somebody has changed or just somebody just don't want it. Yeah, judgment. Somebody could be going through a, an awakening. Someone could be expressing this like, hey, look, it's over. I feel like somebody keeps trying to come at them, be nice, offer their cup. They're like, no, it's, it's over. I don't feel the same way or I, I need to move on with my life or I, or I have new love or whatever this is. So if you're doing that, then good job because you're building good. Yeah, the lovers because you have good karma around you doing that. When you, when you be honest, straightforward, you bring good karma into your life. You you have the right to move on if that's what you want to do. So as soon as you block this person or whatever, or somebody may be trying to do something here, fucked up. Yeah, because the Seven of Wands, that's a backfire. What's this devil? What is somebody doing? What's this devil card? What is this devil Five of Wands? Type? What is somebody trying to do here? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. There's another seven, a lot of sevens here. So somebody could be confused as to why this is backfiring because somebody could be trying to manipulate or block you or hinder you or create roadblocks or do something to you, but it's coming back on their ass. Yeah, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody's constantly attacking you or trying to have you go in circles. Someone's wondering why it's not working. It's not going to work. You're doing something malicious or you're or someone's very angry or confused and, or stressed because yeah, the Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, it's over. This breakup, this ending is over. Or 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 somebody is like mind blown as to how the yeah, the tables turn or how you're turning the tables on their ass. Uh, yeah, someone's doing something real malicious here. Somebody may even try to do something to get back at you. Yeah, the two of wands is here to say, yeah, if you close something out, two of wands, world card, I'm getting that was the best choice that you could make. Yeah, the temperance and the ace of swords. Now you can reconnect or reconcile with someone. The two of wands world is being chosen to and taking your place in the world. So we have peace and nine of pentacles. It says release the past. There is more enrich there is a more enrich enriching future coming. Let go and let God. And I feel like that's exactly what someone is doing. So we could put these back because I just wanted to clarify what that seven of wands is. Somebody is being rejected. They are being blocked, excommunicated. It's over. Somebody is dead and done with the situation with the world card. I, I told you I felt it and it's right there. And something is backfiring majorly on somebody. So if you somebody left you and you're doing wicked and you're trying to obstruct them, fuck with their money, block them or do something wicked, that shit's coming back on your ass big time yeah so what else yeah we had the um we had the nine of pentacles there and now peace what's coming in so we have the eight of cups yep we have there is something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you spiritual quest and i feel like that's what somebody's on somebody's on a spiritual quest to move forward to move on in their life to find what really makes them happy and i'm getting they're going to Somebody is determined. The Seven of Wands is being determined as well. 
Somebody is determined to have this new life, to go down this new path. This is what they want. They're determined, yeah. And I'm getting you're moving on to peace. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Look at that. And somebody has this like feeling like there's something better for them. And they know that. I'm getting as soon as you leave this situation behind, you become more p at peace. Your money starts to flow. Something grows really fast for you. That's how you know somebody not meant for you. When shit pick up, when you leave them, or you just feel less stress or happiness or whatever. Or if, the, if you're going towards someone, watch how peaceful and happy you feel with this energy, with this person. Yeah, the Queen of Gabriel. Yeah, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. You're powerful. You're strong. Yeah, there's the world again. So the world is here twice. It showed up. Something is definitely over and complete. Okay, three of cups. It could be with third parties or whatever this is. Okay. Somebody wants peace. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. I'm definitely getting about your work. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Okay? So some of you, you know, you're wanting to start something here. I'm getting you on. Confirmation. You should if you're wanting to. You most definitely should. Okay? We have the Queen of Ariel, the Queen of Pentacles. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. All right? Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles is. Yeah, the Chariot. This could be a Cancer. Okay? What's this Um, what's this Queen of Pe Ariel? Queen of Ariel. So this is about your money. I'm getting yeah the yeah the high priestess. This is about your money. I'm getting your money is is going. Is something is flowing. It's working for you. You're doing your fucking thing. What is the queen of Ariel and the um, high priestess? I mean, what am I talking about? Yeah, we have the high priestess. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. So you have peace here twice. A lot of peace. That's why I told you I feel this overwhelming feeling of peace. I'm getting, um, you're nurturing yourself, you're, you're taking control of your life, your abilities and what you have going on, yeah, you're finding solutions, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy is where I'm getting. All right, we have leap of faith, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. So whatever this is that you, your intuition is telling, because the high priestess is our intuition, could be a Pisces, could be heavy Leo energy here. But whatever this is that's telling you to move or do something here, yeah, do it. Epiphany, join through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. So that's what somebody's doing. They're, put, they're getting the answers through meditating, by sitting, by thinking. Sometimes you have to do that. You have to pull away and think so that you're able to make the best moves for yourself. Okay, yeah, we have the Six of Cups. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So you could be reconciling with someone here as well, okay? Your intuition is telling you to take a leap of faith. This is going to make you very happy. You should listen. Yeah, the page of swords, okay? We have an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts and documents very thoroughly, okay? So that's, that's a message here. Yeah, so this could be a reconciliation. Someone from your past could be watching you. They want to take a leap of faith here towards you. Their intuition is telling them to. They, but it's like almost like this resisting resistance is this holding back a little bit here. Okay, but I do feel like somebody will come in here. Okay, I'm getting a very nurturing, loving energy. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. All right, warm and generous, honorable and refined. We have, yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative path. So a water sign here, it could be a scorpion or um, a cancer, but I'm feeling a Scorpio. Maybe some of you need to go in nature, connect with nature again. That could be very healing for you, okay? But I'm getting, yeah, um, what is this? The Knight of Ariel. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. All right, we have the King of Cups. Yes, it is safe to trust. So somebody's deeply in love with you. This is somebody from your past that's still watching you here, that is being called towards you or pulled towards you or whatever this is, okay? 
what is this king of cups this is good this could be music maybe this is a love for music okay but something is really 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 taking off for you yeah we have the world card something is over a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so this is an ending that someone is happy about a lot of spiritual growth you have a magician and insight coming in here you can manifest the life you want what you need will magically appear successful beginnings so something is successful here. Yeah, the three of swords I just saw. So there is a breakup or ending. Some, some, somebody, something is closed out here. It's over with the three of swords in the world. This could be, this could be in the city of the justice. Okay, so this could definitely be a divorce or an ending or something with a Libra. Okay, or a legal situation. It says fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. And then we have this Ten of Swords. So there is some betrayal, lies, cheating. Something ends abruptly here. The world is over. If you ended something abruptly or you just deaded something, that was that was justice here. So this could be the Seven of Wands, yeah, or, or, or whatever this betrayal or I don't know. What is this? Yeah, the wheel. The tables are the, yeah, the two of cups in the decision. What's this three of swords, ten of swords right here? Three of swords, ten of swords in the world with the justice. Yeah, the, the two of pentacles. So if something was on and off, in and out, I feel like if somebody's closing that out with the world card. Or if somebody was playing with your money, doing something, something was inconsistent. Whatever the fuck this is, it's over. It's not going to happen like this or be like this anymore. The world is here and, and you're getting justice. With Le oh my gosh, justice again. This could be a double Libra or something about... This is definitely a court proceedings or a legal situation you've been going in circles with. It, it, it's over. I'm also getting, yeah, the justice is here twice now. I'd be very careful. But I feel like something's going to come to an abrupt end. The lies, the cheating, the third party or whatever. Somebody's just deading that shit. It's over. It's justice. Or somebody wants to give you justice, give you a truth here. They want to balance something or, or something like that. This is Queen of Pentacles. I'm definitely getting, um, I'm definitely getting, this is too many. What's this Queen of Pentacles? I'm definitely getting a situation where it's um, oof, a legal situation. A divorce is happening or a divorce is final or whatever in the world. So I'm getting something, something to do with this um, Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, the chariot. Yeah, the, okay. We have the world. I'm getting this cut. This Queen of Pentacles knows that someone is moving on, or that somebody's done, or you know whatever this is, or that somebody's looking back at someone from their past, or that they're in love elsewhere. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles is being clarified by the World card. It's over. The Ten of Swords again. So I'm getting a huge, somebody's feeling very much betrayed or backstabbed or whatever. The Cherry. I feel like it's a Cancer. Or this Cancer Queen of Pentacles energy it could be like a somebody with a Cancer with an Earth sign placement or whatever the fuck. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody's feeling very much left out or ghosted or left behind. But I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, something is faded. Something's coming to an abrupt end. It's dead. It's it's, it's over. Whatever this is, it's not working or it's not going to work or it keeps backfiring with the Seven of Wands or whatever this is. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, we have the Empress and the Star and the Ten of Pentacles. I just feel like somebody knows who they're supposed to be with, they're destined to be with, their future is. Whether you have the King of Cups again, somebody's deeply in love, you have the Death card. Somebody has changed or somebody has gotten the confirmation about who their twin flame is, what they're supposed to be doing, where they're supposed to be at. You have the lovers. A deep twin flame connection is here, okay? And something is over with this earth sign. And I feel like they could be, tell me a little bit, what's the ten of swords? What's this cancer or this cancer, okay? Or this Libra, but a legal situation. You have the nine of wands and the five of swords. Yes, someone's very, very irritated. Very angry, upset, vindictive, hateful, mad, malice. They feel cut off or like they cannot hurt you like they want to or do something wicked to you. You deaded it. It's over. You have the Knight of Swords, the constant attacks. 
this um the hate the envy the the fucking with your money the, the the doing black magic yeah that's why that devil showed up earlier or or, or or trying to hinder you yeah look the five of wands and there it is again the devil the constant discrimination hate envy someone's really trying to figure out a way to turn the tables on you or to do something fucked up to you or cause you some kind of hurt or betrayal or something Somebody wants, yeah, to fuck with your money. Somebody's doing this maliciously. Somebody only wants, I feel like somebody is a fucking grimy dog. And if you've been fucking with this person, they've really been doing fucked up shit. Or this is, whoever this is, you need to let this shit go. You're moving on. You're destined. Somebody lost here with the five of cups that kept kept showing up. Somebody lost. It's a lose-lose for them. Something, something is not going to work or whatever. What's the five of swords, five of wands, seven of wands, five of cups? You're standing your ground. You're moving on and you're letting it go and you should because somebody is fucking grimy. Yeah, they're grimy as fuck. Five of swords, this energy is just like cons. Yeah, the six of wands, somebody's competing with you. You're successful. The three of pentacles, you're doing something. You have a new opportunity. Money is there. You're, you're Somebody's competing with you. You have the seven of swords and the ten of wands and the three of swords. Somebody keeps trying to oppress you or, or steal from you or take from you or have you burden or weigh down or whatever this is. It's just not going to be like that. You are successful. You're pulling the six of wands twice. Something is successful. Something is a yes. Yeah, just period. What else? Or someone wants to be with this motherfucking, this motherfucking um, empress. Okay, the star, or this somebody's inspiring or something about... This love connection or your money. There's that Ten of Pentacles again, Six of Pentacles. Y'all saw the Nine of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles, Cancer energy. It could be like a, a Cancer, Capricorn energy or Virgo where it's being left behind or, or it's over. We have the Seven of um, Ariel. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for the next endeavor. So you're making good decisions with your money. You're investing. You're making good moves. It just is what it is. Somebody's mad about it or you moved on, you blocked them. Good job because somebody's hateful and nasty and they're going to try to get wicked here or threaten you with legal matters because you're leaving. So if you're leaving to be with somebody else, they're going to threaten you with legal matters or try to hold something over your head or do something like that. Believe in God and move on. A lot. Go towards this new love. This new love is probably going to help you, nurture you, love you, and be there for you because it's your twin flame. They love you. It could be the empress. I'm getting somebody's deeply in love with you as well. You're deeply in love with this person as well. Somebody's feeling rejected, left out, left behind, and, and they're going to do something wicked. Yeah, we have the page of wands. Yeah, Knight of, Knight of Michael, time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes, and the Page of Wands. Energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. So all of a sudden, somebody could be DMing you, messaging you, coming towards you. All of a sudden, something, yeah, we're going from the Page of Wands to the King. So somebody is a King here. They're not no look here. Yeah, the Two of Cups. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on this. Don't give up on those you love. And I'm getting your nod. Yeah, time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. And need for detoxification. So, some, so somebody has decided here. What's the Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups? Somebody has very much decided about what, what it is that they want. Yeah, this Five of Swords is going to show up. Um, in the reverse, but let me see. This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So I'm I'm getting like with it wanting to come out. This could be releasing the ego or or, or what's this five of swords? Or somebody could be a bit jealous. What's this five of swords wanting to come? Yeah. Okay. So this is what it is. Five of swords going to sabotage this or try to sabotage this connection. Somebody does not want to see you have what you want. Eight of swords and the eight of cups. Someone's going to try to do. It's this water sign that cancer. They've been doing black magic on you, the whole relationship and, 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 and hindering you and keeping you blocking shit. You're leaving that shit behind. Someone's jealous as fuck. Five of swords that you've walked away. They're going to try to sabotage anything, especially your love life. Because they got left you at the four of pentacles because somebody wants to hold on to you or they can't let go. What's the two of cups? 
You have the sun. There it is. Because you're happy. Someone's angry. Knight of Swords. They're going to attack your happiness. Anything you have, you try to do, someone's going to try to attack it and destroy it because they are an evil, hateful, wicked motherfucker. And they're, and they're going to die alone and be miserable and old and wicked. Yeah, the tower and the three of swords. Someone's going to try to cause a breakup or ending or something. Yeah, the two of cups again and the eight of wands. You're very much in love and you're falling in love fast. You're the king of cups. And the death card. It could be a Scorpio. They're going to be reaching out to you. It's a twin flame. Confirmation. Somebody's mad. They're going to try to do anything they can to destroy that. Any fucking thing that they can. Yeah. What else? But justice is here twice. We have the lovers. Damn. And look at that. The, so clarifying the two cups was the five of swords. And now we have the lovers with the five of wands. A lot of jealousy, hate, and envy, dog. It's just ridiculous. Somebody wants to compete with you. Your love life, your work, your real, everything. The lovers, make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. This love is so deep. It's just like, it's, it's, and it's a loyalty to it, too. You two are very loyal and committed. Five of Wands, a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Somebody, if, if they are gun ho on competing with you, beating you, doing something fucked up to you because you moved on, you're done, or you're winning. Just period. Yeah, you're winning. Yeah, um, nine of Pentacles. your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. You are independent, beautiful, and you have the Ace of Swords, and you're, you're reconnecting. You have divine guidance and new beginnings with the Ace of Ariel, with the Six of Swords. Something is moving ahead smoothly. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Gabriel. You're making really good choices here, and that's scaring somebody else. Okay, it says divine guidance. You're following it. Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, a reconnection with this love, confirmation, a reconnection, wonderful new ideas. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear and clear up communication problems with others. So if there was something going on, it's going to be cleared up here between you, so you and someone else. It says divine guidance, a search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Okay, and then we have Ace of Ariel, the Ace of Pentacles. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or a promotion. We have new beginnings, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. And Six of Swords, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. So some of you are relocating or someone's coming towards you here. Okay, but there's going to be some clear-ups here of whatever happened in the past. It's, you're going to be starting a new life with this person. All right, yeah, solutions, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So I'm getting, I'm getting, there's going to be some, a lot of healing and forgiveness here. Something is moving forward. We have the Queen of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant, and independent. It says you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So I'm getting something about your beauty, the Queen of Wands. Okay, let me um see real quick before we go. What wants to come out here? Okay. Yeah. What what do you want to come out from here? Spirit, what's supposed to come out from here? To clarify this reading. Okay. Here's this energy, man. Okay, this is ball and chain, heavy, way down, codependent, trap, restrictions, addictions, unhappy marriage, emotional baggage. So someone's trying to already destroy something here. Any new thing you begin, new beginnings, they want to destroy it. Somebody doesn't want you to have shit. That's confirmation. Yeah, Knight of Swords constantly attacking you. But with the judgment here, I'm getting your guides are coming in. With the judgment, Nine of Cups, something was promised to you and you're going to have it. Yeah, the Temperance, Ace of Swords. 
somebody's going to deal with this person. They're already going through it. They're struggling. Yeah, we have um, heart. Yep, love, romance, joy, bliss, hearts, desire, content, affection, fulfillment, kindness, forgiveness, passionate. A lot of forgiveness going on here. Okay, yeah, Th this is what you're getting. Yeah, the hangman and the phoenix. Yep, it could be a Scorpio, death, rebirth, immortal, catalytic heart, awakening, rising from the ashes, total transformation, and complete renewal. And then we have um, the hangman. This is seeing something from a different perspective, enlightenment, spirituality, intuition, illusion, okay? So this is somebody seeing something from a different perspective, this love, this heart, there, there's romance here. Someone is rising and they're changing, they're changing and somebody's trying to throw this, this monkey wrench in your shit, this ball and chain in your shit. Yeah, death, look at that. It's a Scorpio confirmation with that car going by or it's a Sagittarius with the temperance or somebody with Scorpio and Sagittarius placements. Okay, someone has gained clarity or done some kind of research or some something. Yeah, hummingbird, enjoyment, be present, rapid response, resilience, nectar, sweet goodness, lift out of negativity, lightness of being. So this, this Scorpio is coming up out of this negativity. Yeah, period, going places, adventure, vehicle, vacation, trip, enterprise, movement, with the wind, swift, travel, and overseas. Yep, somebody could be coming toward you in butterfly metamorphosis time. It says, metamorphosis time, be open, embrace change, evolution of the soul, rising up, inspiration, reinvent yourself. Somebody is totally reinventing themselves. Snowflake, perfect, precise, coded, cold, handled carefully, crystal design, gentle, fragile, unique, pattern, exquisite, and detailed. Somebody is a beast here. Yeah, the world. Something is going to be in the sun. Something has changed completely in somebody. It says, yes, take inspired action. So if you're looking for an answer, yes. And then new beginnings, desire, time, a sudden um, a sudden increase, clever, resource, fertility, multiple sex, and um, procreation. So look at this, what's coming in. God, this is beautiful. This is just so fucking beautiful. What's this heavy shit right here, this ball and chain? That somebody is trying, yeah, complicated, circumstance, string along, puzzling, all tied up. Condorum, unraveled, tangled, hassles and problems. Someone's trying to cause problems. Look how y'all messages is coming out. This is sick. Confidence, guidance, trust your inner knowing, instinctual freedom, believe in your power, resilience, and stamina. That's that queen of wands. I'm getting you. Somebody knows where they're supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing, and they're going after whoever's trying to stop you is going to backfire with them seven of wands. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, the universe is here. You're getting double justice for whatever this is. This is a beautiful reading. Lucky for you guys, this is beautiful. So I hope you embrace this. I hope you take it in. I hope whoever's going after your dreams or a person or whatever, congratulations. You're going to be so fucking happy. I can put that on everything I know and love. And I'm, and I'm really proud of you for making this decision. All right. So make sure y'all go follow me on my OnlyFans, y'all. We're going to do all kinds of shit over there. Make sure to hit the um the like button, subscribe. Okay. I put all signs up over there today. Y'all should see the titles on my community tab. So make sure to go check that out. Let's get it. Um, thank y'all for all y'all support and love. For those of you who truly love and support me, I know you will be on my um, OnlyFans. Okay, I'm truly grateful for y'all. Humbly, I am and grateful because it's because of y'all support and love. I am here. Yes, my hard work and dedication, but y'all love and support to me. So thank you. Okay, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. The link to my um, OnlyFans will be on my community tab listed with all the titles of the videos I posted in the comment section and in the description box.